Meg excessive and unlawful. Duchess defends herself as just made a mistake after denying cooperation. Meghan Markle just made a mistake after denying that she collaborated with the authors of Finding Freedom, a women's rights activist has claimed. Referring to the apology that Meghan made on Wednesday after allegedly misleading the courts over her collaboration with the authors of Finding Freedom Women's Rights Dr. Shola Moss Shogbarmima said the Duchess was right to apologize. Dr. Moss Shogbarmima added that it makes zero difference to the privacy claim that she won. She said, the question in the latest faux outrage about Meghan is not whether she loses credibility for not informing the High Court that her former Calms Secretary, Jason Knauf, provided some information for the unauthorized biography, Finding Freedom, to authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, with her knowledge. No, the only question is whether this would have made a difference to the outcome of the privacy claim she won against Associated Newspapers Limited, publisher of the Mail on Sunday. The fact is it should make zero difference. Dr. Moss Shogbarmimu added, Meghan's successful privacy claim against Associated Newspapers Limited was not predicated on the collaboration, if any, with the authors of Finding Freedom but whether or not Associated Newspapers Limited had breached her right to privacy by publishing parts of her letter to her father. The court's ruling that publishing her private letter was excessive and unlawful is the centerpiece of her win. So this disclosure about Finding Freedom is not critical, I believe. The news comes after Associated Newspapers made an appeal against a UK High Court ruling that said it breached Meghan's privacy by publishing a letter she wrote to her father. The newspaper group, that publishes the Mail Online, Daily Mail and the Mail of Sunday, argued that the Duchess of Sussex had written the letter believing it would find its way into the public realm. The publishers are relying on the testimony of Meghan's former communications adviser, Jason Knauf, to assist in their appeal. One aspect of the Duchess of Sussex's narrative was that she had previously said that she had no direct involvement in the royal biography Finding Freedom. However, Mr. Knauf said in a court witness statement that the book, authored by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand was discussed on a routine basis with him as a liaison to the authors. He also claimed that details of the preparation of the book were discussed directly with the Duchess multiple times in person and over email. Responding to her former communications officer's claims the Duchess of Sussex gave a witness statement to the court on Wednesday. She said, I accept that Mr. Knauf did provide some information to the authors for the book and that he did so with my knowledge, for a meeting that he planned for with the authors in his capacity as communications secretary. The extent of the information he shared is unknown to me. When I approved the passage. I did not have the benefit of seeing these emails and I apologized to the court for the fact that I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. I had absolutely no wish or intention to mislead the defendant or the court. Meghan won a case earlier this year after a summary judgment from Lord Justice Warby ruled the mail on Sunday's publication of her letter to her father was manifestly excessive and hence unlawful. The newspaper's publishers are seeking to overturn the summary decision because they feel the matter should go to trial. Following this week's three-day hearing, Court of Appeal judges will return their findings in the next few weeks.